Joachim, we have to start right now with the big picture, but you try really to, to, to look into the future and, and think that you have found the solution. I mean, from today now to reach your, your goal, what is needed? I think this leadership is what is most important, that there are companies out there now who are willing to provide the solutions. And we need companies and government and individuals to actually purchase products that are entering the market and trying to make this change in their, their personal life and in their company. But what is the solution? Can you just give us a short, short uh, insight? I think every think tank that you ask about the energy supply, they say that solar energy is the only way that provide energy for the growing population. And maybe the biggest advantage is that instead of, of having a very expensive semiconductor factory for producing new solar cells, you can actually use the traditional uh, bicycle company can start producing this kind of concentrating solar energy system. We have this problem with world population is increasing over 9 billion people and we need to build cities for 4 billion people. In the same time we have the climate change, that we can't power those cities with coal anymore. And the third is that the oil that we have been depending on for driving the world economy, it will get very expensive as the resources is reducing. So what's left is the renewable energy and it's important that this is very quickly explored. And that's, that is a free service from the sun? Yes, and to, to use the sun to heat hot water in a building and to produce electricity, it's a very efficient way of using the sun. But I think everyone really understands that, but for how long time do we have to wait? The solar energy has been hindered a little by very low cost on fossil fuels in the past. But now, with the cost level as of today, the solar industry is growing 40-50% per year and has done so in a decade. So it will be just 10-20 years away until solar energy is really changing the world. And now you represent the region of Western Norland and spreading this message. How come? We have started a EU project that's called Clean Tech Demonstration Arena where we want to be world leading in demonstrating clean tech technology in this region. Where solar is one but there are also sustainable housing and water cleaning in several areas. And we think that those first installations, the demonstration installations, they need to be done in a special way so that people can come and visit them and learn and spread the knowledge. And the support what do you think about that and the interest? We have had very good support from the region, uh, both formal with grants and so on, but also informal by being invited by the governor to meet ambassadors and so on. So the, the regional support is very important, as it's very strong. And you think the region will succeed to be the world leader? I think with, with this joint that we have done with both research and uh, education and uh, companies and government. We have a good, good position in concentrating solar energy. But it's of course, it's a hundred billion euro market, so it will be a lot of competitions in the future.